Okay, this is uh, Rocky, my ball, one of my ball pythons, and he's feeding. You can see he took that pretty quick. He's in pre-shed mode right now, so he's uh, his eyes are capped over. They're cloudy. They um, they don't have eyelids or anything to cover their eyes except for one layer of skin. And snakes always have one new layer of skin and one old layer of skin, and the old layer of skin they shed off to grow. And uh, that's why their their eyes get cloudy. And this is a ball python, uh, Python regis also known as a royal python. They're from uh, Western Africa. They get to be about five feet long. And they live for about 30 years. And they eat mostly anything they can catch and swallow. So, but I feed, uh, feed my snakes frozen mice. Just warm them up to room temperature. And then warm them up a little bit more so that they can feel the heat difference because they've got, uh, they've got heat sensing pits. And you could actually tape, put tape over their eyes and they could still find their food. So this one being a constrictor, um, thinks that it just grabbed a live meal and it's constricting it till it doesn't move anymore. Then you'll proceed to, uh, to eat it. And actually, if you look close uh, around the nose area, the front of the face, you can see the heat pits on the upper lip. The nose are hooked up to an area called a Jacobson's organ on the roof of their mouth. And they can, uh, with their tongue, well, not necessarily the heat pits, but the tongue, it's hooked up to the Jacobson's organ. And they can send messages up to their brain of what they're smelling. And... Uh, they're really good at smelling things out. And they're able to dislocate their, well their lower jaw is actually split in the front. They can open their jaw to 150 degrees, whereas we can only open ours to about 30. And they're able to, uh, widen their jaw and take in a big meal about three times their body width. Now he's squeezing it into his throat. When he gets it into his mouth, he's going to start making a, he's going to do a, like a bearing down thing where he, where he forces it down through his body, down to the stomach. Okay, so he's got it into his throat now. He's going to start making kind of a nest pattern and pushing down. And you keep bearing down like that with that S pattern, and that forces it down to in the stomach. And then you'll have a big yawn, straighten everything out in his mouth, 
get ready for the next meal. So if you're having trouble feeding uh, your ball pythons, try uh, putting them in a little bit warmer water because room temperature is not going to work. Um, they can't, they can't uh, feel it. They can smell a difference, but they can't see any difference as far as heat goes. So heat is, heat is really the key. Them pushing down and bearing down like that. <coughs> He's eyeing up the camera for a strike here, so I think I'm going to bail. Talk to you later.